Hello everyone, welcome back to TJ's desk. I plan on showing you guys how to clean and reformat a drive that has been write protected. So, first thing we need is a right protected hard drive, but you have one right here. I used this drive uh, for a free NAS setup and I tried formatting it. Just right click, go ahead and go format. Everything seems to be working properly. Now, uh, go quick format to speed it up. Yep. Oh, this disk has been right protected. No matter what you do here, it's not going to work. I've also had some uh, people saying, hi. Hey, how about you try the registry? Okay. Let's go run. Registry edit. Okay, I'm in here. Now I'm trying to look for the one folder that everyone keeps suggesting and it's not even here. So, that's not gonna help me. So I figured out to do is you go Windows X. You open up command prompt in administrative mode. Here we go, we got our command prompt. So, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is open disk part. So, disk part, there we go. This part is now open, there we go. And you want to find what disk you want. So this, using a disk part can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm gonna show you how to find the correct disk and how to do it properly without accidentally formatting your drive with your operating system on it. So, we're gonna go down here, open up the folder, and look, USB drive I doesn't even show up anymore. But you can see here though, it says USB drive I. It has been assigned the letter I, so we can go off that, we can work with letter I. Uh, sometimes uh, in this situation you might not even see a drive show up at all so you gotta use your head and think about what it could be uh, worst case scenario you unplug everything except for the drive that has your operating system on it so you know this drive is my operating system and this is the other drive and you can work with that but in this case I know that my USB drive is letter I so let's open this part back up and go list disk and this is going to list all the disks for me so you can see that disk 5 is my 30 gigabyte thumb drive so I want to uh, select that just to make sure nothing else no other disk gets selected so go select disk 5 then re uh, type list disk. We can just press the up key to go through what you've already typed. Then you'll see the little asterisk right over here saying that disk 5 is selected. Then we we'll also want to go list volume. So now we're listing all the volumes. So we have five disks or six disks, sorry, and we have eight different volumes. So when we go down this, we can go, oh, looky here, letter, okay, E, no, C, definitely not C, C for me is my boot drive, this is the drive that has all my program files, uh, this is my operating system drive, so for me, definitely not that one, but go down, this is my Seagate one terabyte. These are the two servers, which are just copies of each other. And then my two and a half inch, 160 gigabyte drive. Then drive I is, is removable. For me, that's something I want. I know that my thumb drive is a removable. It's type removable. So we go in here and okay, healthy. all these are healthy and this one's unusable. So we can tell that this is the one I want. Uh, my USB drive is removable, correct. 
I, I have identified the rest of these as being uh, partitions of disk 0 through 4. And volume 7i is the last one left. Now to confirm that that is the volume I wish, I'm going to go over and unplug my uh, thumb drive. There we go, it is now unplugged. And I'm going to research list volume. Now you can see volume 7 is no longer there. Now I can look at this and go, okay, this is what's here and compare it to what's on top. And yep, only one missing is the removable drive, which is correct. And there we go, I just plug the drive back in. And like it says, format it, go ahead and try to format it. Nope, right protected. So that's not gonna do anything for me, that's getting all angry at me. So disk part, let's do that again. Drive seven is in, this time is letter H and removable, unusable. So yes, that is the one that disappeared and is now shown back up again. Now I'm gonna select volume seven. Now list volume again, number seven is selected. Now let's uh, try and format it through this. Format and quick. Oh, right protected, doesn't work. So uh, a lot of people don't know when they get into this, especially if you're newer, is there's a whole bunch more commands than just format. So if I type help, there you go, you have an entire list of commands. And the one I'm really wanting right now is the one called clean. What clean does is just clears it. It removes everything from the thumb drive and acts like it is not even partitioned or anything like that. So best way to explain it is clear the configuration information or all information. Uh, I'm gonna do the quick version because uh, clearing all basically goes through an entire hard drive and basically resets every bit. So I'm gonna go clean. First, I'm actually gonna make sure that number seven still uh, selected because this part doesn't prompt you. It doesn't go, are you sure? It just does what you tell it to do. So always double check what you're doing is what you wanna do. So let's go back up and double check, correct. And I'm gonna type clean. There we go, disk is cleaned and my computer just noticing goes, hey, something's different. I don't need that though. So disk is clean. Now if I go list, actually I'm just gonna do up arrow, list volume, here we go. Removable drive size zero. And go, go up to here to list disk it is now 29 out of 29. And before, go to the very top here. Yeah, it was 29 out of 29 before. Back to the bottom. You can see that the GPT is no longer selected. So now we know that. Now let's go list volume again. There we go. So now we can see that the size is zero. That means it hasn't been partitioned. So I need to partition this now to make it a usable hard drive. So I'm gonna go list. No, no, I'm gonna go create. Partition. And I wanna create a primary partition. There we go. You have succeeded in creating a primary or a specified partition. And now this is done, now for me, I'm gonna to wanna to format this. So I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna do a full format, just a quick one, because a full format's probably gonna take me about 30 minutes. So I wanna format. I'm gonna do a quick, quick format. I'm gonna choose file system, 
uh, NTFS. You can use other ones. There is a lot you can use. But for me, I'm just going to use NTFS without going through all that. And I want to label this drive for you guys as test. So uh, the label would be what shows up right here. So RS1 Seagate 1 terabyte, that would be a label. Local disk, that would be a label. Local disk tends to be a default one. And then I'm going to go enter. I'm just going to quickly format it. Hopefully quickly. There we go. It is now open as H. Uh, some people, this might not happen. You might not get a letter designation. So you open that up. You go over here. Hey, let's open this. You go poopity boop. You look over here and oh crap. It's not showing up or anything. Well, if that does happen, so what you're going to have to do is go list volume. There you go. Find the volume. I uh, volume. I labeled it as test. So volume seven. And then you're going to you want to select that. So it's already selected, but we're going to do it. Select volume seven. And then go assign. It is now just assigned the next in line. So if we go through the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, but H was already used when it created I. So the next one in the list, because it goes, okay, what's being used right now? H. Okay, we're going to create I. So it creates I, but it just replaced H with I. So then it, uh, H is appeared, now it's I. So if I go assign again, it should go back to H. Assign. And there we go, we're back at H. This is the end of this video. Hopefully this video has helped you guys clean and reformat your right protected drive. So if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to share. If you didn't like this video, or if you have any comments, tips, tricks, or suggestions for a next video, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, I will see you later.